bit of beauty in the garden. My Icelandic puppy just popped up. Love it. This is so amazing. This is the first time I successfully grew a carrot. I thought I kind of gave up on this bed. So it took forever for the Rouge Royale sunflower to bloom, but when it did, oh boy, did it. Look at all those blooms. Simultaneously, practically. They've only started blooming in the last week and a half, two weeks. Just blooming like crazy. I love this rack right here. I mean, look at how many blooms all at the same time. I love it so much. My Rouge Royale Sunflower, I stuck three seeds in here but only one plant took. But I thought it was going to be redder than that but it's like a rusty, rusty color with a yellow fringe and then the dark center. And from here it looks really red <laughs> so it's kind of weird but it's a rusty color but when you um, image it it looks red <laughs> but I was looking for something burgundy like or, or bright red in the sunflower range but I love it it's it's uh, bringing in lots of pollinators and I love what I love about it is it has multi heads of flowers so let me just count there's two right there three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four oh my god there's just way more and each head has multiple blooms it's it's a really lovely sunflower i love it and my tomatoes are starting to to have fruit i don't know if you can see it there but they haven't turned red yet hi friends so my diablo cosmos are just going bonkers so i've been deadheading it quite a bit to encourage the blooms it's looking so gorgeous like my um, candy striped cosmos from last year they're just doing fantastic some of my other cosmos are struggling and I think it's just the soil they were in we had so much water it washed out so much rain it washed out all the nutrients from the soil so they were struggling but this was a newer bed and this is so fantastic. I love the color. It's so bright. <clears throat> so I harvested some chives, if you can see, right here and right here. And it's kind of like the Chelsea cut. So I have it right there. I'm going to do some omelets with it. And then over here, I just chopped the Melissa Officinalis lemon balm. And here it is. And I'm going to make some tea with it. I'm going to dry it and then make some tea with it. And some fresh leaves will be in my tea. And then the rest will be dried. And then it gives room for it to grow some more so it doesn't go to seed. And here is my whorehound. i got to research how to make the whorehound candy. Because I believe they said this is very um, bitter. So, and it looks like it might be starting to go to flower or to seed. So I have to do something about it quick. And here is my true hyssop. And it's growing like crazy. So I'm going to cut it down and incorporate it into my, my tea with the Melissa Officinalis. So that it doesn't go to flower so soon. Um, and then later in the summer I'll let it bloom. So I'm going to harvest this as well and wash it and dry it. Here's my dill. It's starting to try to go to seed. I gotta harvest that as well. I've harvested it several times this season. Here is my tetra dill. I purposely left one of the branches.
to go to seed because I really love this variety of dill. And the other ones, let's see, this is cilantro or parsley, I forget. And the other bits of the dill are somewhere. I started transplanting tomatoes into my beds and um, basil and in the shade I try to grow some cabbages. <clears throat> I don't know if it'll work but I'm gonna try. Here's, here's some more tomatoes and I snuck in some cucumbers amongst the tomatoes. So there's one and this is one. 